at steady state load angle is delta zero electrical output power is equal to mechanical input power there is no acceleration and hence angular velocity of rotor is equal to angular velocity of stator force and earth part occurs output voltage equals to zero and hence output power is equal to zero now since pm is greater than pe rotor accelerates omega r is greater than omega s load angle increases to delta 1 after part clear electrical output power is restored back P is greater than Pm, there is deceleration. Omega R starts decreasing. However, Omega R is still greater than Omega S. Load angle keeps on increasing till Omega R is equal to Omega S. Area of acceleration is equal to area of deceleration. Energy stored during acceleration is released during deceleration. By using equal area criteria, critical clearing time can be found. R should be cleared before critical clearing time, otherwise generator becomes unstable. At load angle delta 2, omega R is equal to omega S. If at load angle delta 2, P is greater than Pm, there is deceleration. Load angle decreases till it reaches delta zero. Since generator reaches steady state after transient, we say that there is a transient stability. If at load angle delta two, P is less than Pm, there is acceleration. Load angle increases. The meter never returns to steady state after transient. Transient stability is not there in this case. If at load angle delta 2, PE is equal to PM, the meter is critically stable. Part should be cleared before critical clearing time, otherwise the meter becomes unstable. Let us find critical clearing angle. Delta 2 is equal to 180 minus delta 0. Area A1 is equal to area A2. Adding area A3 on both sides, we get A1 plus A3 is equal to A2 plus A3. A1 plus A3 is equal to PM 180 minus 2 delta 0. Area A2 plus A3 is found by taking integral of PE from delta C to 180 minus delta 0. It is equal to PE max cos delta 0 plus cos delta C. Solving we get cos delta C is equal to PM by PE max 180 minus 2 delta 0 minus cos delta 0. Thus, knowing PM, PE max, and delta zero, critical clearing angle is found. Critical clearing time is the time taken for load angle to reach delta C. As per string equation, oscillating power is equal to m v square delta by dt square. Solving, we get d delta is equal to oscillating power by m t dt. Solving further, we get oscillating power by m tc square by 2 is equal to delta c minus delta 0. Critical clearing time is equal to under root 2m by oscillating power delta c minus delta 0.